what's up guys today we got a Halifax walking video starting from the George Dixon Center going up to Halifax's Hydrostone I recorded this walk on December 19th 2020 at 1206 p.m. the curtain temperature is 1 degree Celsius which is about 34 degrees Fahrenheit and the, t the total distance of this walk is about one and a half kilometers thanks for watching guys and enjoy the walk As you can see there's some people sliding down the hill and people building like a snowman well of course it snowed a couple days ago so I think we've got about like 20 to 25 centimeters at the most because the last few days it's been really cold But luckily this here is salted so and the salt is to help you so you not slip sorry I should say the salt is to help you not slip so that's kind of handy especially on the hills because if you're trying to walk up the hill or down it's really easy to slip So it's just a short walk for Halifax, just because I'm going for a walk with my friend today. Starting for 12.30 p.m. So it's not going to be a long walk, it's just pretty, this walk is pretty straightforward because we're going to be following north on Gaijin Street till we get to Young Street and then when we pass Young Street that becomes Novali Drive. I'm actually gonna cross here just because they got the green light, so. So this walk should be about 15, 20 minutes long, average.
I just did some more video editing this morning. This time my posting, I'm posting my Toronto Escalator videos from 2016, which was four years ago from here. So I worked on that most of the morning before I headed out with my buddy. In case you were wondering, I'm actually keeping my phone charging while I'm recording because I have an iPhone 6s and sometimes I find when I'm recording in the cold, the battery drains out really fast. And to help reduce that, I can recharge the phone as I'm recording. What I do is I carry one of my power banks. It's like good to have when you're charging your phone and there's no power outlet around you. I keep those charged frequently, so I mostly charge them throughout the night. So those are good to have when there's no power outlet around you. Or there's a power outlet around you, but they're all being used. Those can be kind of handy to have, especially if you're going to be walking outdoors a lot. And you need to keep your phone connected to power. Yeah, those are the best to have. I always carry one with me when I'm out because I'm always out walking. Five hours a day average. Which is about 25 kilometers or so. Again, it's not a really far walk to the Hydrostone from the George Dixon Center. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. about a month ago that's when I started posting videos onto my YouTube so I'm still learning the basic stuff like last couple weeks I learned how to mute off copyrighted music just you know I'm right now I'm more used to muting out the whole thing which includes the music in the background my voice anything But, I was like, but we don't have to deal with copyright music here because there's no music playing around here. Here's Almond Street. You can take Almond Street all the way down to past, a little bit past Kanata Avenue and you're really close to the West Mount Park and down here is Datacona. I 
I think that's about another one and a half to two kilometer street. Like I said, pretty straightforward. Some streets here do make turns, but most of them are pretty straight. to look that up. I bet those are some pretty expensive condos there. Like I said, now Halifax, when they're putting up new condos, they're getting the they're starting to get really pricey. Like the rent is a thousand plus more a month. Right there is where they have and they sell used video games and consoles, electronics, anything. And this is the Hydrostone District. And this is the Hydrostone District. So I'm gonna sign it off here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends all the above. I will see you in the next video coming up.